In this video, I'll show you how member visibility works in TypeScript. So we'll learn what is public, what is private, and what is protected. So the first thing, public. So public is the default visibility of class members. So let me create one class student and let's say we have one age value and suppose it is 20 and we have one uh, name name let's say it is alex and we have one more let's say it uh, the name of this method is git name and it's returning the name so here i use this keyword public that means that this method can be accessed from anywhere if i create one class object then i can access this method and if i'm creating any uh, base class of this class then also i can access this method for these variables i have not added any public or any other keyword but by default uh, these are public I can also write public here but that will not make any sense so for readability you can use that so let me create one object here let s equal to new student and if i try to access any of these properties then you can see that i can access them so if i write get name then it will bring the name that is alex so these are called uh, public then the next one is protected so protected members can uh, protected members are visible only inside the subclasses of that class so let me change this to protected and also let me change this to protected then you can see that it's throwing one error get name is protected and only accessible within class student and its subclasses so suppose let me create one subclass okay i need to okay let me uh, write one method here suppose it is public get name and here i can access the get name let's say its name is get student name so i can access a get name that is it will call this one get name and it will get the name property from this class so i'm gonna create this sub student and here i'm gonna call get a student name and also we have to return this then you can see that it's printing alex similarly age is protected so we can't access it from here so if i try to access it it will not uh, it will throw me on error because it is protected but we can also since the uh, it's these members from protected to public so for that we have to initialize it again inside this uh, subclass so if i give it as 30 then by it will it will be public now if i try to access it i can see if uh, it will print 30. so we have since the uh, this protected to public and we also have private so if i mark anything as private then we can't access it from anywhere so even from the uh, subclass we can't access it so you can see that it's throwing one error okay let me remove this one and let's say it's student so if i make it private it then also we can't access it we can access it only from this class so let me create one public method here get it and i can access the age from here and if i want the age then i need to access it using this method get age so 
it will call this and it will return me the value of 20. There is one exception here. So we can't access the private uh, properties like this, but if I write any other method inside this class and if the method is using any instance of student, then it can access the private properties. So let's say is equal and suppose I'm getting another student object here then I can access the private property of this object so I can access it and this dot eight return so I can access the eight property here so let me create one more method set eight and it is suppose taking one number and it is uh, assigning the age value okay. let me create two variables of student s and s1 for s let uh, this should be public set it i'm assigning 20 for the first one and for the second one i am assigning 30. and here i'm gonna call this s1 dot is equal s2 sorry s it will print false because the ages are not equal then if i send it to 30 then it will print true so you can see that we can access the properties uh, even if it is private if you have any question please drop one comment below thanks bye